Александр Шторм Шлеменко – это один из самых ярких, известных и именитых бойцов российских смешанных единоборствах. На нашем канале вы уже могли посмотреть две его эпические битвы против Вячеслава Василевского. Или нокаут с одного удара в печень, которым Александр реваншировал свое поражение в бою с американцем Брэндоном Холлси по прозвищу Бык. Но сегодня мы с вами ненадолго покинем арену М1 и отправимся на турниры серии Bodog Fights, которые в 2006 и 2007 году собирали очень крутой состав участников. Шлеменко уже в то время имел славу бойца, готов убиться с кем угодно и при этом показывать потрясающие поединки. Именно поэтому он также получил приглашение, и забегая вперед скажу, показал свой стиль во всей красе. Заранее извиняемся за качество видео, к сожалению, в лучшем исходнике этих поединков найти не удалось, но зато качество самих нокаутов тут на высшем уровне. Итак, в первом бою на турнире в Ванкувере в августе 2007 года Александр встречался с американским бойцом Скоттом Хейнси, который к тому времени имел 19 побед при 8 поражениях и считался мастером болевых приемов. Five foot eight inches tall and weighed in at 185 pounds, with an MMA record of 24 wins and five losses from Omsk, Russia, via Siberia. Please welcome Alexander the Storm Slavenko. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner, he stands five foot nine inches tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. With an MMA record of 18 wins, eight losses and two draws from Tell City, Indiana, please welcome Scott Henzi. Fighters to the center. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Carlos Diaz. Guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Keep the fight clean. Touch gloves. Go back. Judge, you're ready. Judge. Judge. Ready? Fight! So it's set to go. Round one, scheduled for three. Five-minute rounds. Bulldog Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia. Decked out in the red trunks. To the left of your screen, Scott Henze from Indiana. Now he circles to the right, taking on Shlomenko from Eastern Europe, from Russia. Let's see what happens here in the early going. Remember, Shlomenko likes to strike again. Oh, reverse spin! Nice kick there, but didn't quite catch him. Yeah, I was just about to allude to the wide and solid stance that Shlomenko is taking, and that is so he can afford to throw hard, hard kicks, oh, which boy. Scott Henze is already paying for. Yeah, he is, because he drove that knee into Henze. Henze back up, tries to get a knee up himself, and blasts Shlomenko. Henze felt that, a lot of power with the, the knee and the high kick. So Shlomenko has a lot of ability in the... Oh, it's a Muay Thai spinning kick, I suppose you'd call it. I would say call that more of a Taekwondo kick. Uh, Muay Thai fighters aren't really oh! good. A spinning back fist, and it is all over. Unbelievable knockout by Alexander Slamenko. Slamenko ripped him with a backhanded shot in the middle of a spin, and it took Henzi down. Henzi may have a broken nose or broken orbital bone in his face because he was really wrecked. You could hear the thud way across the ring here. How about that, Slamenko, with the first big strike, and he takes Henzi down, and it's all she wrote, a first-round knockout. Man, oh man, did he clip him. And Henzi doesn't really know where he is right now, and he's back up as your winner, Alexander Slamenko. Boy, he just looked to me, Paul, with tremendous amount of power from the get-go, both with his kicks and then, obviously, with that kind of backhanded reverse uh, uh, shot with the back of his fist that took him uh, right out. There's the explanation from the export, uh, Paul Lazenby. All right, let's make it official by going to our ring announcer. Here is uh, Don Andrews. Don? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carlos Diaz stops the fight at 57 seconds of the first round for your winner by knockout, Alexander the Storm Slamenko. Во втором бою, который прошел уже в Москве в ноябре все того же 2007 года, Александру противостоял аргентинский боец Диего Высоцкий. 
у которого помимо весьма звучной для российского зрителя фамилии, было и очень оригинальное прозвище. Эль Тора, то есть бык. Александру явно везло на быков в ринге. One thing I noticed straight off the bat, Shlomenko coming out in an orthodox stance. I'm used to seeing him in southpaw, so perhaps he's been working on some new weapons as Vysotsky charges forward, wanting nothing of the striking game of Shlomenko. Shlomenko taking the tie clinch as Vysotsky pushes him into the ropes. If there's one thing we've seen in the past with uh, Vysotsky, he does not have a strong stand-up game and takes a lot of punishment. You can do that with some fighters, but Shlomenko is one that you don't want to test the waters with your chin. Now, as we've seen before, Jeff, you leave yourself out there one time and it can all be over. This guy has incredibly destructive knockout power and lightning fast reflexes. Temporary stalemate in the corner before Vysotsky gets driven down onto his back. Troy Watt turning them back toward ring center. We're back underway and now we're going to get to see what the ground game of Vysotsky is like. Vysotsky going for Kimura, but uh, Shlominko wrapped up tight. And uh, Vysotsky out of position here. Shlominko, <laughs> just to me, looks like a just a college kid, but you, you wouldn't think that he kicks people's heads off. And uh, that nickname of the storm came very easily for him, as we said. You know, 15 straight wins, that's hardly ever done anymore in the game of mixed martial arts. Yeah, aside from Kelly Cobalt, I can't think of any other athlete who's accrued that many victories. And now a flying knee and a vicious left hand followed by that spinning back fist. Shlomenko going crazy on Vysotsky as the crowd coming alive. Spinning back kick to the face. Almost every weapon in the Storm Arsenal coming out right now. Shlomenko having his way with Vysotsky. Wow, he is just shucking him. Oh, my God. Brutal left-legged kick to the jaw as Vysotsky comes off the ropes. And this one could not be a more dominant victory. Storm Shlomenko victorious and the Russian crowd coming to their feet. What a knockout. Trevor Prangley, keep your eyes open on Shlomenko. Very good in the clinch. I was about to say before that unexpected storm 